All right, are you ready to candle our baby chicks? I've numbered all of our eggs now so we can remember which chicks come out of which egg. This one, look, can you guys see? Yeah, nothing. There's nothing in it. Yeah, that never got fertilized. All right, here's egg number two. Now, as you can see, that egg is a little darker, so it's a little harder to see inside. But if you look really closely, you can see the shadow and that's where the chick is. Pretty cool. And if you look even closer, you might be able to see some of the blood vessels there. They kind of look like veins. There's the air pocket at the bottom. Let's see if we can see a vessel in this one. And here we go, here's another egg. Egg number three does not have a embryo inside of it. All right, and here's egg number four. Now this one you can see really good. Look at that chick right there, how cool. Ah, you see feet? How cool is that they're moving? Look closely. There's the air pocket at the bottom and you can see the blood vessels in that one. And here's egg number five. This one is so cute and tiny, but you can see in this egg really good too. Look at that shadow, guys. There's our chick. And you can see closely, and that's those the blood vessels that we talked about. Pretty cool. Look at all the detail of that. There's the baby chick moving around. So cool. He's excited to come out and see you guys. All right, here's egg number six. This one's really hard to see inside of two. And egg seven is pretty hard to see inside of as well. But egg seven is green. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed candling all the eggs with me. Our next step is to see the chicks. We're so excited. Hey, here's my last and final step before the chicks hatch. I had to take out the rotator, clean it up, and lay out paper towels for okay, them. So now they do not have the rotator on the bottom to turn anymore. It is just ready for them to hatch. Paper towels are down, so they're gonna start pecking through soon. I numbered all the eggs so that way we could see what kind of chickens come out of the eggs. So the only thing is that numbers one and three, I do not think we'll have a chick in it because whenever I candled them, they looked very different and they didn't have any of the blood spots or the air pockets, things like that when we were looking and they didn't seem to have an embryo in it. So, but we are really excited to see if numbers two, four, five, six, and seven have baby chicks in them. We can't wait. I wanna remind you, look how small some of these are. So number five is really, really small. So I'm really interested to see what kind of chicken comes out of that. But number two is huge. So we're ready and getting excited. They'll be hatching any day now, guys. Can't wait. All right, now it's time to get their brooder ready, which is gonna be their home for the next two weeks. We have a heat lamp, bedding, food and water, and they're gonna stay nice and warm in here.